Using your cell phone in an elevator? There's something you should know. And the one instance you need to take extra precaution. It's sending more waves through your brain to do that. Researchers are warning us about cell phones and a possible link to brain cancer. We have five ways you can protect yourself starting right now. So, Dr. Davis, you got five things here. One very practical bit of advice you told me just before we started was if you're going to have a cell phone, put it in your purse. Yes, put it in your purse. Now, you may not have a purse, but you can find, I think man purses are going to come back. Okay. <laughs> So, number one is to use speakerphone. Yes. That's sort of self-evident. Very, very simple. Just That's keep it this far away, and you're actually having a thousand times or ten thousand times less exposure. It doesn't have to be that far away from your body, because it works by the square of the distance away from you. So, this is a lot of a protection, just holding it out there. Perfect. Now, if you hold that there, yep. the second big issue, of course, is if you're going to hold the phone far from you and you're in a crowded area, listen, I know you're going to use cell phones. I, right. I'm not getting rid of my cell phone either. This, no. is, this is really aimed at helping us deal with the reality that it might be a danger and we want to have our cell phones. So, the issue for me is how do I talk to someone when I'm in a crowded area? And I think this idea of using a wired headset piece like this makes right. a lot of sense. Absolutely. Yeah, well, what about these wireless set setups, these things? Well, they actually give you less exposure into your ear. But the problem is if you have it in your pocket, then you're getting exposure to your bone marrow at the same time that you're minimizing the exposure to your head. Yeah. So we really don't recommend, particularly for young men, to keep a phone in the pocket because there have been a number of studies that have found reduced sperm count in men who have, have the phone in their pocket a lot. Okay, and then the, the fourth big issue is how you actually carry the phone. You mentioned you put it on your purse. Most guys will take their cell phone and put it on your waist, yeah. like this. I th that's fine, particularly if you do one other thing, turn it off. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, we don't, most of us, you may be an exception, do not need no, to be don't. on call 24-7. Right. Most of us do not, and I've actually found it's possible to turn the phone off and live a life. <laughs> A miracle worker, Dr. Davis. <laughs> and the, the fifth idea is, is to think about using the cell phone differently when you have a poor reception. And Absolutely. When the signal is weak, you, tr you don't use your phone unless it's an emergency because the weaker the signal on the phone, the more the radio frequency signal has to boost itself in to get into the phone and you're actually getting greater exposure with a weaker signal. So let's go over the five one more time, right? We're going to keep the phone... A Because right, that's the problem. in the phone.